All right, everybody, so let's get rocking. Like I said, I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. Um, it's just not a lot of time, and it's gonna be a complex food to eat. But at that, how about we get started? Mm, I don't really know where to get started. Maybe I'll start with this side. Ooh, this is heavy. <laughs> All right, anyway, guys, how about you get going? We'll say the count of... There's a long pause. Let's say five, four, Three, two, two, one, one. let's eat. Go, 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 let's go. go, go. Yeah. Mm. It's actually very good. Fried bread is crispy. Thank you. Flavors, just you really good. That unagi sauce, that mayonnaise. I really like that. We're about two and a half minutes in, they're getting there. Get the popcorn chicken down. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Old Ben. Four minutes in. The fried bread is actually really good. The with both like the batter they put on it and it makes it kind of sweet, which I wasn't expecting. So it's like a sweet fried dough. It kind of reminds me of like a, honestly like an elephant ear or like a funnel cake in a way. It's it's actually surprisingly like really nice.
That sweetness of that sauce, though, too, that's a really nice addition. All right, last few bites. Whew. I was pretty quiet for the first bit. I was really worried. Not a lot of time. A lot of food. Um, a really delicious item, but it takes a little time to eat. Just keep chewing, just keep chewing. <laughs> It's just about seven minutes, pretty much right on the dot. That, you know, I gotta say, I don't know what to expect with a fried banh mi. I've had a banh mi before. A lot of banh mi's having pork. This being chicken and fried, I knew this was quite a rendition. But it was actually, it was really good. I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was like, I was a little skeptical, but it was really, really good. The fried dough, like I said, it made this like, really nice kind of sweetness to it. It reminded me of like an elephant ear, just that rich, it was a nice richness, sweetness. Um, with the chicken on there was really great. I love the one with the villa chicken. Just the like sweetness and richness of that mayonnaise and unagi sauce. Um, that was great, guys. Really enjoyed it. The uh, bread was crispy. Also, the greens there gave a little bit of a crispy texture as well, like a crisp, a crunch. Um, but yeah, that was really, really delicious. So I do get the meal for free. Um, like I said, that was not a lot of time. I was pretty worried about that. So I saved my words at the beginning. But yeah, honestly, it was surprisingly really nice. Um, really cool, like unique item never before i've ever heard of one but i'd actually say it's worth i'd try one maybe don't eat a two foot long one but get like a normal one it was really really good definitely give it a shot they also have a whole bunch of crazy cool teas boba drinks um specialty drinks here which you know kind of what they're known for tea villa but it's more than just a tea shop they got a, a cool menu and uh, they, they, got, they got some cajun popcorn chicken on there they got spam uh, like what is it they got uh spam masubis Hawaiian culture, I must say, those are pretty dang good. We got chicken wings, we got bento boxes, all kinds of cool stuff. So I am definitely gonna try one of the drinks or two. They get, hey, wall here, I have to. They're really well known for it. And uh, that's about that, guys. So, whew, hope you enjoyed that. Definitely quick challenge, a lot of food, no shortage. I enjoyed it, though. And uh, so yeah, let's get some drinks, and uh, we'll be back here just momentarily. Thank you. Damn. I wanted to see a quick one. Yeah? yeah. No, I haven't seen that person. Yeah. I, was that little, was good. I was a little worried there at the start. I was like, dear yeah. Lord, what did I get myself into? Yeah, it's supposed to be like a second of the day, too. Yeah. It makes, makes it harder. Yeah. All right. Well.